Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another holiday gift set. This is from Makeup Forever. This is their Rouge Artist Lipstick. This, so this is just their traditional Makeup Forever's package is always so cute. It's like all red. And this is called the Supreme Nude Lips. Now, I'm glad that that's prob actually why I got this set. I was drawn to this is like a nude set rather than a lot of like red lipsticks done over and over again. Um, so yeah, here we are. And I've never tried this formula as well. They recently came out with a liquid lipstick, I think. A rouge liquid lipstick. And these are the cream lipsticks. So you get two full-size lipsticks. Um, and they retail for $29, I think, the set, which... Um, yep so let's see if they're really worth it or not uh i will i'm gonna put this video inside of a playlist a holiday playlist for 2022 uh I'll, i will put that playlist link down below if you're interested that way you can take a look at all the holiday gifts that i've bought and i've reviewed and demoed and whatever here on the channel that way it'll be easy access so yeah uh if you like these kinds of videos uh definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up it really helps my content to come up in the browser page and also uh youtube also shares it with people with a like mind enthusiast beauty enthusiast like you and i and yep and also subscribe if you haven't already that's really important so let's get started. Uh, this is, like I said, Rouge Artist Lipstick and they come out with two, uh, they give us two nudes in this uh, set. And you just, this is like an excessively large packaging, to be honest. Yes, they're, it's kind of statement making, but it's, there's literally nothing here because look at the size. It's just your regular lipstick, but this, the cap is like enormous. It's gonna take up a, so much space so i really thought there's something else under underneath to make this packaging so big but nothing it's just this whole thing is just like your regular cream lipstick you see just your twist up and so i'm not sure why this is so big um yeah so you get two nude colors in the shade 112 this have a name chick brick it's called chick brick and then this is 164 and this is called sassy rhubarb so this is more peachy and more like a uh, pinky purpley mauve color so let's quickly do some swatches arm swatches and lip swatches and then let's talk about a final thoughts take this off oh my god the fabric from this lip not lip this vibe is just like getting all over my lips or should i say this lip gloss is so moisturizing <laughs> okay i think we got it all so let's do swatches so that's chick break let's see what this looks like on my lips It has a decent opacity. I wouldn't say completely one swipe pigmentation. It's no nurse audacious. And there's like one swipe. So I would say it's like semi-opaque. Not fully asleep opaque. So you can definitely control the intensity. So that is it. That's the shade. Uh, the... I mean, personally, since I'm a little bit on the lazier side, I probably wouldn't put a lip liner with this shade, but adding a lip liner would definitely make it look even more better, if you ask me. But I think if you have my complexion, we can definitely pull it off even without a lip liner. So this is uh, the Sassy Rhubarb, a more like pinky purpley mauve shade. see what that looks like okay like i said semi-opaque not fully opaque you can see my natural lip color peeking through and this itself kind of like 
I guess this I can pull this off too without a lip liner. That's two layers. Even two layers, it's not I'm not getting like a very opaque finish, or is it? I guess it is opaque, yeah. I cannot see my natural lip color picking still. So yeah, those are the two shades, and I have to say they actually have a very strong scent to them. Yeah. <laughs> It's there. It's a very, st very strong floral scent. Hang on, I'm trying to get the cap. I don't want the lipsticks to break. So, yeah, um, they have a very strong floral scent. It's kind of like it's taking you by shock, <laughs> you know, and it's there. It's definitely there because it's literally below my nose. I'm getting a whiff of that strong floral scent constantly right now so yeah that's something i don't like and then the longevity is as you could expect obviously this is your traditional cream lipstick so it's just like you would expect from a cream lipstick um i have to say this is like two full size shades for 30 dollars 29 but let's say 30 that brings it to what like 15 dollars each I don't know if this is like that uh, that amazing. I haven't been buying a lot of um, drugstore lipsticks, to be honest. So I don't know what the pricing is. But, oh wait, I did buy Milani and it's like $9 or something like that. 9 or $10, I think. And their lipsticks are actually even a little bit better, if you ask me. Um, so it's... Honestly, there's nothing wrong with this lipsticks. Well, I don't like the scent, but and I'm not like blown away by the formula. It's like not incredibly rich or incredibly long lasting. It's definitely not not long lasting, at least with these nude colors. So yeah, I'm I'm not like I'm not seeing a standout element to these lipsticks, to be honest. So nothing with the packaging the price range is just like because i feel the price is just uh so much just because it is being sold at sephora you know what i mean so yeah i'm not seeing like a distinct like um something unique like bite beauty's lipsticks were so rich and pigmented and so nourishing I don't it's not bad but i'm just not seeing anything like stand out with these products so yeah i don't know if i mean it's a good product and if you like these two colors uh and if you think it will really really help you and benefit in your day-to-day -day activities if these are the shades you wear go ahead and get it but um for me it's not like a standout formula the formula wise it's not standard and i'm definitely the scent definitely plays a major role within that because it's pretty strong it's a really really strong scent and the little things definitely count they definitely count so yep that's my quick review on them this is my first time using them as well so that's my quick review I really hope this video helped you make a decision if you're interested in buying or not. Have you tried the formula? Uh, what do you think of Makeup Forever nowadays, to be honest? <laughs> because I haven't been purchasing a lot from then. So let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to say hi to you. And I will see you guys very soon.